What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves a stack team today. We are rocking out with an Iron Valiant team that also features Iron Moth, Life Orb Cerulege, and Me Alscarada. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. We are pushing 20,000 subscribers, so I'm super excited to actually hit that milestone. But to get us started here with today's team preview, we got the one and only Iron Moth. I haven't used this Pokemon in a while, but it's still definitely very strong in the Series 2 ladder. It has Quirk Drive, the Booster Energy as its item, then a great move set of Fiery Dance, Acid Spray, Morning Sun, and Protect. Miascarada is going to be our second Pokemon. Haven't seen too many Miascaradas on the ladder, considering, you know, there are Pokemon that counter it more in Series 2, like Delibird and uh, Fluttermane. But this one is still pretty strong. It's got Overgrow, the Focus Ash, Rock and Flower Trick, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and Protect. I really do like Miascarada to counter down Thozos, and I still think it hits hard with Sucker Punch, so I think you get a lot of value out of it. Third Pokemon is going to be Cerulege, and Cerulege has been being used a lot more on the rank ladder. Everybody's loving it, everybody's using it with either bulk up or sword stance, and it's just been hitting hard. This one has flash fire with the life orb. This one has bitter blade, shadow sneak, sword stance, and protect. Iron Valiant is going to be our fourth Pokemon, and Iron Valiant is one of my favorite futuristic forms in the game. Just love its design, love its typing as well with the fairy and fighting. And I just think it's a great Pokemon all around. It has Quirk Drive, it has Safety Goggles as its item, Rock and Moon Blast, and Aurora Sphere, both for Stab. We got Icy Wind for Speed Control, and last but not least, we got Protect. Belly Bolt is going to be our fifth Pokemon, and I just recently used Belly Bolt. Did, a, did decently well with it, but wanted to showcase a little bit more, so this team actually works out perfectly, considering we get to use Belly Bolt yet again. It has Electromorphosis as its ability, if I'm saying that right. That's, that's a big time word. That's a big time word. And then it's got Assault Vest as item, Rocket Thunderbolt, Parabolic Charge, Volt Switch, and Terror Blast for its four moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Storm Drain Gastron. Very solid Pokemon when going up against water, water type teams, especially like Rain with Pelipper. So I really do like Storm Drain. It has Citrus Berry as item, Earth Power, Muddy Water, Recover, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Iron Moth, Meowth Rider, and Iron Valiant team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a Warren Moon team, alongside with Belly Drum, Azumarill, Brute Bonnet, Golden Go, Iron Bundle, and Sandy Shock. So a lot of Paradox Pokemon, gotta watch out for that. Who should we bring? How should we go into it? Valiant is really not that bad here, it is going to be super effective onto... Actually, three Pokemon, right? It's going to be super effective onto the Deli Bird, the Brute Bonnet, and the Warren Moon. So I kind of like that Pokemon here. I kind of do like the Iron Valiant. We could also lead it with a different Pokemon, like Iron Moth. I don't think Iron Moth's too bad, considering Iron Moth can counter the Golden Go side. But then Azumarill can really get after both those Pokemon, right? And Sandy Shocks isn't too bad. Hmm. How am I playing this one? I do think there is a potential lead for Sandy Shocks. But I think Valiant is going to be a safe bet for us. We have the we have the Icy Wind with it. We can grab some Speed Control. I do like that. And it is rather fast. So that's not bad. But also going to you, you're not bad. I do like the Moth, especially with Acid Spray. Could really get us cooking. Could really get us cooking. We do have a we do have fiery dance here as well. We going with the moth. Yeah, I said we go with double paradox here. I say we bring Gastron in the back end, considering I like Gastron for countering a few different Pokemon. And then Meowth is not too bad here either. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yeah, I've been having a blast on the rank ladder as recently. We have about four days left in series two. I was looking at the date over on my other monitor. But yeah, and then once series three hops in here, we're going to get the uh, Legends of Ruin Legendaries. And that's definitely going to be fun to showcase uh, for me. So, cannot wait for that. We're going to get Shen Pao out there. Chi Yu. I forget the, what the other two are called. Considering I haven't really used them too much, but maybe I should start using them on the casual ladder. Start bringing you guys some content before the, se the series even starts. So, if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section down below. But they end up leading the Deli Deli Bird alongside with the Moon. Okay, so I could Icy win. I think Moon is going to Terrasalize, right? It makes the most sense. And my speed is going to be heightened here, which is solid. Now, I'm thinking of just Icy winning. Or I could just Aurora Spear. Slowing down would be good. Wow, we got we had some good moves here. I'm gonna go after Deli Bird. I'm gonna go after Deli Bird. I could Fiery Dance here as well. This could boost my special attack too. And I'm just gonna double down on Deli Bird. I don't think it's gonna protect turn one. It would be rough if it does, but I don't think it is. I don't think it's gonna do it. The Terrestrialization probably coming out from the Warren Moon, right? If I had to guess it. Yeah. 
That's exactly why we want to go into Deli Bird. He's going to change into straight flying. He's a flying little booger. And that kind of sucks because I think he's going to take on my Valiant. So as long as his Deli Bird doesn't protect, I think we have a good turn. Wow, you at speed like that. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, no, you're going after Moth. Moth's able to sit with that. Good work, Moth. Fiery Dance can come out here. We're going to deal some nice damage to you. And then Aurora Spear is going to come out here and finish you off. So Icy Wind pops through here. I don't mind that too much. I do not mind that. I do not mind that. So we still have Moth on the field. We still have Valiant on the field. They're going to have War Moon. It's going to be faster. So he gets to KO pretty much whatever Pokemon he chooses. And hopefully my, my other Pokemon can get off a shot. It really depends who he goes into. But I wouldn't say that was a bad first turn. We got rid of the Iron Bundle, one of their stronger Pokemon. But now they bring out Sandy Shocks. And uh, yeah, that's a little terrifying, right? That's definitely a little terrifying. I could protect. I could also Terrasilize here in a straight fire, but would that really help us? Would that really help us? I wouldn't mind going for an Icy Wind here. But Terrasilizing, I don't think we should waste our Terrasilization, right? I think we should save it. I really do think we should save it. I do like Gastron here. I think Gastron is solid. I could actually swap the Valiant. Do I really want to do that? I think we just stay in here. I think we just go for the Icy Wind. Try to land that, and then if we can, try to land Acid Spray over onto, like, Worm Moon, too. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Darker back's going to fire. I think he just straight up outspeeds me and picks up a double kill, no problem. And he's going to take out my Iron Moth with the Acrobats, which is kind of weird. And he's going to go after you with a Thunderbolt. Still probably pick up the KO. Sandy Shocks hits hard. Earth Power. Yeah, we're dead. Sandy Shocks hits hard. He hits hard. Okay, so now he's sitting here with two very fast Pokemon. We do have Gashon. Gashon is slow, but he's going to be type nice here. I don't mind him here. We do have Flower Trick on Miascarada, which is bad. I think we're Sash on Miascarada as well. I might end up Terrasilizing that Pokemon, just so it doesn't take a big time damage to Acrobatic, right? Hmm. I mean, Muddy Water's not bad. I could actually Muddy Water. And then on top of that, maybe Terrasilize you, but you're straight grass. What's your Terror type, Gastro? Steel. Do we want Steel? I feel like we kind of want Steel, right? Actually, no, we kind of want to keep our typings. Because then grounding, Ground is just going to rip into us. But yeah, I'm just going to Muddy Water, and I might just protect this turn. I'm just going to protect, because I think Acrobatics is coming to the slot. So we're looking to get off some big-time damage with Gastron. Get racking with that. They might even double down to Miascarada. But we'll see what they want to do. He's going to end up protecting the Sandy Shocks. The Shocks comes out here. Hopefully, the Acrobatics flies in the Miascarada slot, and it does. So that gives us a free hit onto the War Moon. Again, we still have Terra, but I don't know. I don't know how good that's going to be. I do not know how good that our Terra is really going to be here. Muddy Water flies here. How much damage are we doing to War Moon? Not, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. We could Sucker Punch it up. Might have to be our play, but I'm going to go in here. And I think I am just going to Sucker Punch it. Terrasilizing, again, it's not doing anything. So I'm just going to Sucker Punch this thing down. He's going to end up withdrawing the shocks here. And he's going to go into Who is your final Pokemon? Because this does not look good for us. You're not going to have to say any shocks. And it's going to be the Brute Bonnet. Okay, that, that's terrible. So Sucker Punch comes in here, chips up some nice damage. And Acrobat is now going to fly. So we do have Sash. That's really good for us. That, that is really good for us. Sash is really good for us. But dude, that Brute Bonnet is just a problem, right? Brute Bonnet is a problem. Muddy Water flies here. Chunks up some nice damage. And I'm thinking of just muddy watering and I could sucker punch. I could just protect here as well. Or I could read a protect coming out from. I'm just gonna protect. I'm just gonna protect. I was gonna say I could read a protect coming out from uh Roy Moon. So I'm just gonna protect my mask out of here. Cause that brunette brute bonnet's a problem. I was gonna sucker punch into Roar Moon again, but I might even protect this turn. It's gonna set up a tailwind. I mean, you already had speed. It really wasn't an option. The bullet seed now flies, and... Wow, you're going after that. Okay, yeah, we're going to ha definitely have to Terrasilize or Gastron. I'll take that turn all day. So we're going to have to Terrasilize or Gastron now. And... Oh, Lord. This match coming down to the wire. And I guess we'll sucker punch the Brute Bonnet. <laughs> like, that thing is a problem. So I think Gastro can get rid of... Uh, Sandy Shocks, right? We're gonna have to sucker punch Sandy Shocks. Actually, yeah, we have to get rid of Sandy Shocks more than anything. We can't afford to eat up a Bullet Seed, so we have to Terrasilize here. So I'm just gonna go for a Muddy Water, and 
I'm just gonna sucker punch down the Sandy Shock slot. I need to get off as much damage as I possibly can onto this thing. He might even protect it. So finally, finally we Thrasilize just so he can't get hit by the grass moves. And we'll see how this one plays out here. So the problem is Sandy Shocks is ground. It is a ground Pokemon. <laughs> it's just a problem for us. The second punch comes through here. Loving it. I doubt he's going for a ground move into my Gastron at this point. He goes for a Thunderbolt into Miascarada. And then probably a Bullet Seed into Gastron. So if this Muddy Water can KO, we might have a shot here. This Bullet Seed obviously flying here. And we're able to soak pretty well. We do have Recover. And that's the thing. I don't know if Brute Bonnet can actually like... KO my gosh out with the covers. But again, we need to land this Muddy Water first and foremost. Muddy Water needs to come out here. And KO this thing. Come on, Muddy Water. Take out the Sandy Shocks, please. Let's go. Just get rid of it. We don't need it here. No shot. There's no shot. There is no shot. Free focus ash for the loss? Bro, that hurts the soul. What you mean? That hurts the soul. That's a rough one, because now, now he gets a free shot on me. We did get the accuracy drop, so I'm thinking of just doing this and hope for the best here. Yeah, now he lands to Earthbound. Terrible. Terrible. I think we could have potentially soloed that Brute Bonnet. I really do. I really do. Earth Powers could have came in strong. Same thing with uh, Muddy Waters, but more importantly, we could have kept recovering and getting HP. So we pretty much lose to a free focus action match number one. That last match hurts, ladies and gentlemen. We lost to a free focus ash on a Sandy Shocks. It definitely could have went either way after that, but I feel like we had a great shot at winning. I feel like my Gastron could have soloed if it played slow, just recovered HP, and then Muddy Water Earth Power up until that uh, Brute Bonnet would have been dead. But again, that hurts the soul. It definitely hurts the soul losing like that. But second match coming at you guys. This one looks like a tough one. The Sableye and Cerulege combo. Coming in hot here alongside with Dragonite, Amoongus, and then Delibird and Fluttermane. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I don't think Miascarada is bad here. So I am going to end up leading Miascarada. I do like it. And then on top of that, we could go Gastro. I feel like Gastro gets a lot of work done. Low key, right? Low key gets not a lot of work done. So I, I could go there. I could also match with Cerule Edge. But I feel like they just set up screens, right? Screens is a problem. Screens is a problem. So I might just go Valiant. I am going to go. I'm going to go Valiant. I am going to go... Miascarada, I'm gonna bring Cerule Edge of my own. And then I think last spot's gotta be the Gastro, right? I like Gastron here. I like Gastron here. I don't mind him. I don't mind him. Especially if that Cerule Edge turns into a steel type Cerule Edge. Earth Power could definitely get some work done onto it. But yeah, I, I do I do see Sea Black coming out here regardless. That's why I wanted to actually bring my Iron Valiant, just so I can throw a nice little moon blast into it and try to get off as much damage as I possibly can. But still, they're gonna get off screens. Screen's the problem. And are they gonna lead it with Cerule Edge? They do. So Cerule Edge, Sableye comes out here. We go Miascarada and Valiant. Uh, could see Terrestrialization turn one. Definitely an option. And I feel like I just go for the knockoff here, play it safe. And I just throw a Moon Blast in this slot. I just think we, we just play it simple like that. He might swap, he might Terrestrialize. Something's gonna happen here. But I don't really mind this turn. I don't mind it. So this is exactly why I led this lead, was just in case of, of these two Pokemon. So we're going to force him to make a move, whether it be Terrasalization, Withdrawal, and he's going to withdraw. That's totally fine. You're going to set up screens with Sableye. What are you doing with Sableye? So he ends up withdrawing, and you're going to go into Amoongus. Amoongus comes out here, and Reflect is going to set up. This means this Moonblast has a shot at KO, unless you're Sash, which I think a lot of them are. Oh, you're not. Okay, so no Light Screen comes out. I can get, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Plus, we're taking off Item of Amoongus, which is solid. Which is really solid for us. Take off his Rocky Helmet. Do we take Rocky Helmet damage? Do we take Rocky Helmet damage? If we knock it off. I don't think we do. Do we take Rocky... I, I did not see if it took a damage. I did not see if it did that. Oh, it did. So we don't have our Focus Ash anymore. So from here, Sucker Punch is going to be your play. Actually, no. You might just Rage Powder this. I could Terra. I could Terra because that Pokemon is terrifying. I could just protect you, to be honest. I think it's just protecting me, Ascarada. Maybe Terrasalizing you, in you in the fire and just slowing down everybody. That's going to be my play. Let's let's slow this game down. I might even swap me, Ascarada, soon enough. We'll see how this one plays out here. <clears throat> we shall see. Because I do think a Rage Powder comes out here. I think they want to protect the Fluttermane as much as possible and get off the fairy moves. 
So I think Tarasla is here and just slowing down everybody is going to be the play. Okay, okay. Show me the Rage Powder. Show me the powder that is full of rages. Rage up. Yep, exactly. That's, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, so I kind of dig this turn. And then you're going for like a Gleam. And we outspeed you. Okay, we already outspeed you, which is good time. So we're just slowing down. We're chunking up some damage. Again, I might just swap my Miyasuata. If you're going for a fairy move. And the Moonblast says come in here. Into, okay, the Valiant slot. Wow. Why so much damage for no reason? That ain't right. That ain't cool. Um, hmm. Should go for a knockoff here. Could also go for a Moonblast, but... I did a bit too much damage, right? I could protect the Valiant. I do have Cerule Edge. That's gonna be my play. Let's swap the Cerule Edge. Or let's swap the Miyashiko I kinda want Miyashiko out for later. Into Cerule Edge. And then at this point... We're just gonna pop another Ice Moon. <clears throat> we're just gonna pop another Ice Moon here. Okay, okay. I feel ya, I feel ya. Ice Moon flying out here. Tip up some more damage onto that Amoongus. Lovely. And Amoongus might even swap next turn. Thinking I'm going for a fire move, right? Ooh, he could think I'm going for a fire move when I might just go for a shadow sneak. Moonblast flies and you take out my Valiant. I'm surprised you took out Valiant two shots, right? <laughs> that doing some crazy damage. And what are you going for, Amoongus? You palm puffing, Hyun? What, what you, did you or did you rage pad already? Now you're palm puffing. This slot right here. That's not bad. Okay. So what I think is gonna happen here. I gotta go D, correct? Oh yeah, we're definitely going into this is the time to go into uh, Gasho. So what I think is going to happen here is I think Amoongus swaps out to get his Regenerator health back. I really do think that's going to happen. And he thinks we go for a Bitter Blade into that slot. So at this point, I'm just going to go here. And I'm just going to Muddy Water. Because I do think Amoongus swaps or something. If you Rage Powder, you Rage Powder. And I just KO you with Bitter Blade. But I see this turn actually pretty well for us. I know Flutter Mane's minus two. And I think it still outspeeds my Gastron, right? Gastron's a really slow Pokemon. But I like having Gastron out, out on the field here. It's just going to be really good up against this Rule Edge. And it might force him to actually Thrasalize right now. And I know he's saving that Thrasalization for that Sableye, right? We already know what's happening. Or not Sableye, this Rule Edge. So there's the withdrawal. Him thinking I'm going Bitter Blade in that slot. That's exactly why I did not hit it in that slot. And we're going straight for a Muddy Water here. So, Bitter Blade's gonna actually slide over here. We're gonna chuck up some nice damage. Ooh, that's some nice damage. That's some nice damage and a great read from us. We go back to full HP. And what are you doing here? Going for Shadow Ball to KO me? That'd be fine. No, you might have a choice in a Moonblast. I really do. That thing's doing so much damage. Of course, you get the special attack drop. Muddy Water, can you connect on both? Can you connect on both, please? And thank you, Muddy Water. Of course it doesn't. Who dodged it? Who dodged it? Who dodged it? It's a real question. Of course, Cerule Edge dodged it. When I really needed Cerule Edge to actually take some damage there. Okay. So obviously, I just want to Bitter Blade the, uh, the Moongus down, right? Might even protect here. I have Miyasuke on the back, and I might recover some HP here. I could swap into Miyashiko out if I want to. And that would be the way to do it, right? Just to get my special attack back? Or do I just throw Muddy Waters? I think we just have to throw Muddy Waters. This is a solid battle. He did not Terrasalize yet, right? Still has it. So we end up just Bitter Blade that thing down, picking up the KO. And if you're not going to Terrasalize, I'll, 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 I'll attack you all day. Yeah, our opponent did not Terrasalize yet. He did not Terrasalize. And they're going to end up going for a bulk up. Okay. So if I can land this muddy water, I think we should be fine here. Let me land this muddy water, please. And thank you. Thank you, Gastro. How much damage doing? Half? No. Ooh. Give me an accuracy drop. Oh, no. Oh, I thought that was weakness policy. Okay. I can deal with leftovers. So I can definitely see a terror right now. Shadow Sneak could be our play. I could also recover HP. Or I can just straight up hard swap into Miascarada. Because I feel like you have to go after my Cerule here, correct? I'm going to get my special attack back, and I'm going to save my Gastro. Because I'm terrified of this Cerule Edge, right? They have Reflect, bulked up on defense, and there's Terrestrialization. So that's exactly why I want to swap there. What are you going with? The Steel? What's your typing here? 
What's your type in kind, sir? Straight steel. Okay, so you're steel type Cerule Edge. I have some speed on you. I can crit. I can crit with uh, Fly Archer. And Shadow Sneak's gonna fly here. So Shadow Sneak doing like no damage. I can't Bitter Blade into you. I'm gonna lose some HP. And are you KOing me here? Yeah, you're gonna KO me with the Shadow Sneak. Actually, we eat. Okay, that's not bad. But not a bad swap from us. We get our special attack back so Earth Power can do a nice chunk of damage. And then from here, it just seems like a Shadow Sneak play. Into a Flower Trick? I could also... I, I might, I'm just going to protect this turn. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect this turn. You're definitely going after me, Oscarada. No doubt in my mind you go after me, Oscarada, correct? There's no doubt in my mind you go for the Bitter Blade into me, Oscarada. So let's just keep chunking up some damage onto you. Yep, there it is. So good protect from us. Now, I know I outspeed. Uh, flower trick, probably our play. I could go, I could hard swap if I wanted to. But I feel like flower trick into, oh, this is tough. This is tough. What would do more damage? The shadow sneak? Or not, no. The, the knockoff or the flower trick? The thing is, this will go through the reflect and the bulk of defense boost. That's the only reason I want to use it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So we end up protecting there. That's totally fine. I don't mind it. You're just wasting out your uh, reflect turns. You were just wasting out your reflect turns. We know we can't go for Bitter Blade because these guys are flash fired. So I'm trying to land these flower tricks on these Pokemon. Okay. Bitter Blade's scary because you get back so much HP. And he's going to pick up the double KO here. The double KO is happening. Because Cerule Edge going down to life orb damage. There goes Reflect. Now is the play no because I still I still think it's flower trick the crit this is stab but it, defense boost I could take off its leftovers yeah I think I should take off its leftovers I think I should take off its leftovers looking at it now reflect's gone shadow sneaks doing a nice chunk of damage we die to that we're gonna knock off its leftovers I don't think we're KOing here oh you actually outspeed me can you eat that that's actually even better that's actually even better that you went for that. You kind of just lost the match there. Yeah. Cool. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. But I feel like he, he knew he was dying to that. Okay. Got a little scared there. Thought Super Legend was going to clutch up, but we take that win all day. Miyazakurata clutches up against that. We're 1-1. One one. Let's hop to a third and final battle and grab ourselves a winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and I haven't went up against this team in a good bit. Screamtail and Gothitelle Parish Song team. Alongside with Fluttermane. Amoongus, Palafin, and Arcanine. So Arcanine could definitely be a lead for the Intimidate. I think I want to go into the Moth and the Valiant. I kind of dig that because I can Acid Spray, lower Special Defense, and just start wiping out Pokemon left and right. So I really do dig that lead. I really do dig that lead. So we're going to bring in both of them. Um, Intimidate won't really do anything to us, so I'm cool with that. And then from the back end, I want to bring in Gastro. I do like Storm Drake Gastron, especially up against Palafin. And then last but not least, we're not going to bring Belly Bolt in today's video. I just think Miascarada is too good. Or Cerule Edge, right? Both of them are pretty solid here. Thing is, Cerule Edge can take out the Moongus. The Moongus could be a problem. But Miascarada, I just feel like we get a lot more value out of. Yeah, I'm going to go Miascarada here. I am going to go Miascarada. But we're 1-1. One one, should be 2-0. Again, lost to a little bit of 1 HP Sandy Shocks. But I'll take that. That last match had me shaking a little bit. I thought this Rulich was going to come back on us and just start dominating. But luckily, that knockoff was able to just straight up KO. A good call from us to actually go into the knockoff instead of the flower trick. But I'm kind of curious. I wish I had like the, the damage cow so I could see which one actually did more. Because that crit would have bypassed the defense boost that it did have from bulk up. So it could have been good for us. Definitely could have been good. But the only problem, again, not very effective. The Palafin comes out here and Screamtail. Screamtail and Palafin come out here. I'm kind of looking to just dump on Screamtail, right? Palafin's here. Probably flip turn, hard swapping, jet punch, maybe. Not too worried about it too much. I just think our play is going to be Acid Spray and try to get after that Screamtail. But again, Screamtail can soak up some shots. Screamtail can soak up some shots. So, again, I really kind of just want to go into that. I might just have to Moon Blast it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And go for the moon blast. Palfin, we'll let you do your thing. We have Storm Drake Ashton in the back end. I'm kind of hoping that it's just rocking all water moves. But he's gonna end up terrestrializing. Who are you terrestrializing here? Screamtail? Pa little Pally? Little Pally early on here? For a jet punch? I can get down with that. I think that's pretty cool. You might KO me. You might KO my moth here. 
Moth, can you eat this? This is the first time I've seen this. I kind of wanted to KO me, right? Oh! Moth survives! <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. So you get that special defense drop. He's gonna Parasone now. That is hilarious. That's actually really funny. Moonblast flies. Clear, can this KO? It does not. It does not. So that thing's Parasong drops. Um, I feel like from here, you have to jet punch me again, correct? I can hard swap now, too. And this is where I hard swap into Gastro. So we hard swap into Gastro. I could Ice even. I could Moonblast. I think we just... I think we just get rid of Screen Tail, correct? I think we just get rid of Screen Tail. Little Pally with the ter I like that little terrestrialization early on here. We're gonna go into Gastro. Another Jet Punch comes out here. We get a free special attack boost. A free. It's free. Completely free. Free of charge. Free 99. And Player Up's gonna fly here. Yeah, but so cute. Screen Tail's real a lot faster than than you would think, right? So I think he's forced to swap Palafin here, right? Palafin, most of the time, rock all water moves. Can't really do much up against me. So I think he's just going to hard withdraw. And we'll go from there. I'm cool with that. So we set up the Parasong. It didn't really do too much considering Gothel was here. But now Gothel is here. So we're just going to try to get off as much value as I can with my... Uh, with my what's it called? With my Iron Valiant. But I feel like Muddy Watering because I think Arcanine might be that last Pokemon. We're going to do that. We're just going to throw a Moonblast onto the Gothel slot. And he's going to withdraw Palafin into da -da -da, Arcanine. Arcanine. Yeah, it's Arcanine. Cool. <laughs> Come on, man. It's still easy. That's pretty much GG's, right? Wrap it up. You can't kill my Gasha. Or you, uh, maybe you can with the Fake Out. Don't do me dirty. The Fake Out comes in hot here. We're chipping up some nice damage. He already Terrasilized, so... I really like where we're sitting. <laughs> we just gotta start getting rid of this Arcanine, so we go for the Muddy Water. Actually, we could Earth Power. Just try to get that to land, right? Yeah, I'll go to Earth Power instead. The reason I want to Earth Power instead... Is because I've been missing a lot of Muddy Water, so... I just think that's my best bet. Might even set up another Parasol. Because he knows he's not winning this game. He knows he's not winning this game if Gash was on the field. He, know, he knows it. He knows if Gash was on the field, this game's a match. But I still feel like we got this match in the bag. Palfin cannot do anything up against me. Unless it's Rock gonna move without water, but again, I feel like all Palfins have just straight water type moves. Usually the moveset is Protect, Jet Punch, Wave Crash, and maybe Haze. Maybe Haze, I would say those are the four. But from here, I can just go into Miyazaki Rider, Earth Power the Arcanine slot with plus one on special attack due to the Storm Drain, and a knockoff should be able to just dump on the Agathatel. They have no terrestrialization, so we got typing right now. And I think our opponent's probably just gonna cancel at this point, right? Looking at the typing, looking at what's going on. Winning record's ours. It is ours. We love it. We love it. We love it. Let's see what he ends up doing. You're gonna hard swap? Is that, is that your play? No, you're not. You're dead. Dead here. And I, Arcanine might be able to soak up this plus one Earth Power. Maybe, maybe not. Arcanine's rather on, rather bulky. So we knock that thing off and we just KO. Flare Blitz gonna fly here. Okay, now you're definitely not surviving due to all this recoil damage you're about to take. Okay, so yeah, you're dead. And then, yeah, Palfin, you're just gonna keep boosting my special attack. And I'm just gonna win this match. So Earth Power flies. See you later, Arky. Yeah, you're gone. Get it on out of here, yo. Gashadon might be MVP today. Gaston or Miyasko, they're both doing a lot of work today. But there's KO, Palafin's last Pokemon. One of the reasons I brought in Gaston. It was that and, what's it called? The Arcanine. Those were the two reasons I brought in Gaston and Gaston's just absolutely countering them up. So from here, I'll drop an Earth Power. I will just go for a Sucker Punch, but I think our opponent just cancels, right? You do not. Are you rocking a move that is not water? You are! You have close combat. Okay, cool. I still th think we're fine now. Because now your defense is down, and now he's just sucker punch you and KO you next turn. Alright, good game. Good game. Close combat coming in hot there. And ooh, another free sash, yo. Another free sash. It's okay. My uh my Iron Moth got one, so it's all good. But Sucker Punch, Earth Power again. Game, set, match. Battle was canceled. We went two and one. 
I loved using this team for today's video. Had a ton of fun with it. And more importantly, grab yourselves a winning record for you guys. Went two and one. We got to showcase pretty much all the Pokemon on team except for Belly Boat. But we used Belly Bolt in like a couple videos ago. So it's all good. Gastron did a lot of work. Iron Valley did a lot of work. And we Oscarada did a lot of work. And so did Sir Wedge. Iron Moth, we got it out there in the third and final battle. Helped us take out that uh, Jigglypuff or Screamtail, whatever you want to call it. And just, just helped us there. Acid Spray is really good. Paired up with uh, any special attacker such as Iron Valley and Gastron on team. Considering you can just get the drop and pretty much just take out whatever Pokemon you want. So I do like Iron Moth paired up with any special attacker. But... Guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.